Ah, oh, okay, thank you. They, they've just said, well, I've just been asked a question about a repeating pattern and you almost feel like you, you, you do the work, you get to a certain stage in yourself, you're enlightened to some degree, you have this awakening, you get to that level and you're like, yep, yeah, now I've got it. I know how this works. I know this is my journey. I know my interaction with my people, with my family, my friends around me. I know where I am. But then suddenly something else happens and we're like dragged back into pasts in a way of a reoccurring situation. And it's not to feel that you're being downgraded in a sense of everything you've achieved sort of spiritually uh, in a soulful perspective, you've learned more about your soul. This is not, this is not how this works. What happens is when you have the similar situation and uh, it makes you feel it's tr being triggered by, ah, oh, I've gone back to this this same situation again. I've been forced to be put into the same position again as a, a carer and I thought I'd work my way out of that and now I'm back in it again. And well, the first time around, you may not have even noticed that you were the carer. Whereas now you've done all that groundwork and now that you've done all that work on yourself and you've worked wonderfully, I'm talking to this individual and I know there's many out there have gone through a similar thing where you've done all the groundwork where you know, you've know you worked really hard on your soul growth and you've achieved so much and you're like, yes, I've done it. And then a similar situation or a similar comes up and you're like, oh my God, but I feel like I've been pulled back into it again. And I've started from the beginning. You haven't started from the beginning. It's just on a deeper level, a deeper level of yourself, you're going through this again. On another layer, another surface, you're going down deep, like a scuba dive, you're going deeper now, deeper and deeper into what else is there. You're freeing yourself. It's almost, imagine the scuba diver going down deep sea, you're going down even further now, and now you're uncoupling your links to this situation that's held you stuck. So it works on many, many different layers of your soul. So it's like how your family members will see you this time around because you're interacting differently with them this time than you were before. They have noticed a difference internally, externally with you. They're around you, as we know. What you see of your physical self is just not what it is. It's your energy of yourself. So people will become aware of that. I know when I started going through changes in my family, my family were really objecting and they were saying, you've changed, you changed. Yes, thank God I have changed for the better, but not for them. Because for them, they liked me playing the role that I've always been. And when I stopped engaging in that role, it made them fearful that they could not interact with me in the same way. And as we know, some people do not like change because if you change, that means they may have to change or they might have to look at their situation and they might have to look at how they need to change too. So it's not about being downgraded and starting right from the beginning again. It's not that at all. It's just another deeper level of yourself that needs working through that just need to go through. And it's something else that's coming up for you in this situation and that's what's happening right now. So that's all that is. It's not that you've gone back to the beginning again. It's all about that. It's just this another level of yourself that needs to be worked through. And it's they need to be shown this. Those individuals around you also need to be shown this. They're who you are right now. So if you feel in your body as it's the main sense, it's your tool, it's what guides your soul. Your soul has an interaction for your senses. Your soul, if it doesn't have a physical self, cannot feel those senses. Your body's feeling the senses. So if something doesn't feel right, if someone's putting you in a position that you used to play that role and you no longer want to play that role, your body's going to feel that uncomfortability. You may feel physically sick. You may have physical ailments, headaches, colds, colds. If you think you get runny noses, you get high temperatures, you want to get it out of your system. So whatever's going on for you within your family, the role that you've been played, a common cold can be brought up because it's like it wants to release the toxins. It's this virus that happens in the body, wants to get rid of it. So it can show you through that as well. It's a physical thing that's happening internally within your body. How people are communicating with you is like they're trying to put you back into the box. They like you being where you used to be because it feels comfortable for them because then they could be the same person. Whereas when you start changing, they look at themselves, they might have to start changing and it's uncomfortable for some people. Some people aren't ready, but as we know, by you changing, others will automatically begin to start changing to some degree or becoming aware. So it's not that you've gone back 
it's like you need to look at this from another layer still keep peeling the layers off they just said like a, a door with laser layers, layers of paint it's the stripping back keep stripping back keep stripping back and for you individually you are not going back to the beginning before you start doing all your spiritual journey and your spiritual growth it's just going through the layers more layers and it will reveal itself more Ah, oh, how do you achieve unconditional giving? Ah, oh, do you have to give? It doesn't always, you have to give. This is the thing with humans, the roles that you play within your family, very different from the roles that animals would play. Animals, they give birth, they lay eggs, they then go off and then, then gets on with it. The humans stay too long, it makes it too fussy. So you don't have to play that role anymore. You grow, keep growing. Don't allow people to hold you back. Just work with the emotions that come up for you. Forgive them for they do not know what they do. This is what has just come forward. So forgive the roles or forgive them trying to hold you back. You need to keep moving forward and not to over analyze to some degree. Work with the emotions. When emotions come up that you feel uncomfortable with, then find the emotions that would make you feel happier. We always suggest music as it changes the frequency and the energy lifts. So energy through the music and through nature. Nature will absorb it as well. And this will work for you individually and will work for everyone who hears this. <laughs>